Fan question. Just moved from Detroit to Chicago. Rental rates are crazy. How should I prep my budget? A great question. Uh, uh, some, uh, S-A-M-T-H-E underscore S-U-P-E from Instagram. Samantha Supe. Supe. S-A-M-T-H-E underscore S-U-P-E from Instagram says, just moved from Detroit to Chicago. Rental rates are crazy. How should I prep my budget? Carefully <laughs> is the answer. Um uh, you, you, yeah, Detroit is going to have a lower cost of living than Chicago by, by far. The further you get away from the from the center of, of of Chicago, the further you get away from the center of enterprise business activity, the the are, the cheaper the rental rates are going to be. Also, you want to think about maybe you had your own apartment or your own house that you rented in Detroit, but when you get to Chicago, you may want to think about an apartment or an efficiency suite. You may want to have roommates. Uh, you may get a house and then and then get creative and do an Airbnb situation on some of the rooms of the home, having somebody else to pay the bills for you. Similar to it's like the reverse of a roommate. Well, it's par- it's actually the business version of a roommate. Um, go to Operation Hope; they will help you create a budget. You don't want to spend more if you can than a thirty year income on your housing. My father spent a half of, of our income on housing. So what, poor and struggling families sometimes because they have less complicated life. Sometimes it can work uh, if you really are thoughtful about uh, your bills to spend half of your income on housing. But, you know, I, my family has a lot of other expenses, so housing cannot be the overwhelming expense. Um, but a but when I was coming up, we were lower income uh, and housing was the most valuable thing, the most expensive thing we had in our house. Um, and we didn't have multiple cars and all that stuff. We had a house and we had a car. And uh, so my father made that work. Uh, but it was hand in hand combat every month. So don't feel bad if you're just struggling here, but you need to tr- pull every trick of the trade out of the toolbox, earn income tax credit. If you're making less than $60,000 a year, you got a check coming to you from the federal government. If you're make, if you're living in uh Detroit and you're a teacher and you move to Chicago and you make $38,000 a year, you're going to need to have be creative about housing. And if you have three children when you made that move, you're going to also be able to get a check back from the federal government uh, of about $6,500. And if you never filed EITC, it's retroactive for three years. So there's now almost $20,000 as a starting point uh, for your new life in Chicago. Go to Operation Hope to explain how to do all of that uh, for you. And uh, good luck. This is John O'Brien. This is Money and Wealth. This was a this was a firecracker of an episode. I'm sure you're many things at the moment, but you aren't bored. I'm out. Let's start the as Charlotte would say. Let's discuss. <laughs>